find it. I don't want to do that. Brandy, I gotta be able to see you to, in order to do that. Uh, you gotta put a comment where I can see you. Put a comment, and I will. If you if you're here, put a comment, Brandy. Brandy, put a comment in. Put a comment in, Brandy. They're discussing me on TikTok right now. Well, good for them. <laughs> Good for them. Boy, man. Boy, man. They may be the way you can keep them from recording you. <laughs> Hello, Mandy. How are you? I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it on, on private or whatever y'all talking about. I have no clue how to do that. Brandy, you have to say something where I can see you. Okay, there you are. All right, you got it, Brandy. Hey, Chris, how you doing, bud? Brandy, you click on their click on the icon for their face, and then go down to hide user on this channel, and it'll take them. It basically, that'll basically block them where none of their stuff will come through on the channel. You just click on the little circle on the person you're wanting to block, and then go down to hide user on this channel. She's a mod when it's blue with a, a wrench beside it. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. I gotta use the bathroom. Y'all gotta give me a minute. Oh, my knee.
Hey, Racing King, how are you? Hey, uh, Lou, Lou Sasso. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, big, what's the big mic got to say about Jake Paul real quick? <laughs> Imagine a telescope lens that fits in your pocket, and you can put it in your <coughs> phone's camera. Mike Tyson's gonna destroy Jake Paul. Mike Tyson, renowned as the baddest man on the planet, is gearing up to face off against Jake Paul, a YouTuber all right. boxer, in an upcoming boxing match slated for July 24th, 2024. Recently, Jake Paul shared intense training footage of himself hitting the heavy bag, drawing attention from fans and critics alike. In response, Mike Tyson issued a warning regarding Jake Paul's training video, sparking speculation about the outcome of their battle. Can the seasoned Iron Mike still deliver a knockout blow to Jake Paul? Oh, absolutely, Paul? he can. Join us as we uncover the heated interactions between the legend... Big Mike, ain't, he ain't lost none of his power. That's what a lot of people don't understand. ...to Jake Paul's extreme training footage. <laughs> You're right. ...no stone unturned in preparation for his fight. Mike is going to take Mike. They're going to get out there and start boxing. And Jake Paul probably gonna hit Mike and piss him off, and then then Mike's gonna get up in there. And he's gonna throw one in ruthless uppercuts, and he's gonna knock, either an uppercut or a left hook. He's gonna knock Jake's ass out. He's gonna knock him slap out. Jake released training footage of him menacingly hitting the heavy bag with pent up rage. The energy from the video is supposed to send a strong warning to what the retired uh, Mike Tyson July 20th or something like that. He gets in the ring with the <clears throat> former YouTube star. The training video made rounds on social media as it showed Jake hitting the heavy bag with a flurry of angry punches without <laughs> letting up. The heavy bag could be seen swinging from the sheer force of his punches, signaling mortal danger for the man about to be at the receiving end of those punches. Even the camera. Yeah, the Gamecock, the Lady Gamecocks did win today, Brandon. The they won the national Jake championship. Paul is letting sports enthusiasts who have written him off against the fearsome Mike Tyson know that he's not in for jokes. Uh, Mike, Tyson even in a, even an old man, I'd be scared to death to get in the ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> would be scared to death. Father Time has left his undeniable marks on the petite boxer who was once a wrecking ball in the heavyweight boxing division. Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion who was known for dropping deadly boxers in a spectacular knockout fashion in the boxing ring, has now aged and slowed down as the years passed by. He has settled comfortably into retirement, occasionally training young boxers who show signs of promise in professional fights. While Iron Mike has his glory days behind him, Jake Paul has other plans and wouldn't let him be. The YouTuber has been calling out Mike Tyson for a while now and has now fixed an official boxing match to iron out their irreconcilable issues. Mr. Jake issues. Paul gonna get knocked this slap out. This match has been sanctioned by the World Boxing Council and will be held on... Because it don't, it don't, it's only gonna take, Mike's only gotta land one of those heavy punches. One. <laughs> one and that's it then it's, it's night night time for jake and who better to get knocked out than someone who's allegedly making a mockery of the sport like the youtuber jake paul the sports enthusiasts get pissed seeing jake paul take on official boxing matches against journeymen and retired ufc fighters just to make a payday according to fans of the sport all over the world 
Jake has no business stepping in the ring, carefully avoiding young and active professional boxers, and instead making exhibition. I'm telling you, Texas proud. I mean, Tyson didn't look damn slow to me at all. Uh, he didn't look slow. It looked to me like the tra his trainer was scared to death as he was backing up doing this with the. <laughs> he, he looked like he was scared to death. Since his options for a match are virtually anyone outside a B-level boxer, the retired boxing god Mike Tyson seems to be the perfect person to carry out the will of the boxing universe. In preparation for the much-anticipated bout, however, Jake I'm telling you, fierce training that's what they don't understand. If Mike Tyson loses his temper in the ring, oh my goodness, Jake, Jake better run. He better get out the ring and run. No, but them damn arms are. Spark the lights out of them fists are. Boxers. Jake wants his training video to open Mike's eyes to the fact that there's a new young man who's <laughs> had <laughs> had <laughs> had <laughs> had everybody's a hero. <laughs> a young man who has been fed with more testosterone, who is more toned, more hungry, and currently deadlier than his elderly frame can imagine. Mike Tyson saw the training video, got the message, and reacted to what was before him. Mike Tyson's reaction to Jake Paul's training footage carried a dismissive tone as he called him a white boy. He said that Jake is just trying to put on a shine and it's all an act. When probed further by an interview, Mike Tyson confidently explained that people like Jake Paul are not real fighters. They're exciting fighters. The venom that Jake Paul generated in his short training video didn't seem to get to Mike because he had seen way fiercer boxing in his prime days. Mike doesn't think that all that aggression would count for something in the ring because he doesn't regard Jake as a real fighter. As he once said in yeah, yeah, we'll get his attention real quick. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Mike is still confident in his innate ability to confuse the plan of any boxer, especially the type like Jake Paul, with a single well, Tyson, Ty, they interviewed Tyson's trainer, and he said he said it don't matter. Tyson still got, he said he still got those heavy hands. Uh, he said that he was Mike was hurting his hands, hitting with gloves on, hitting the gloves that the guy that his trainer was doing. You know, doing it. I guess the, the slap boxing they do when they're training. He said it was hurting his damn hands because Mike's he he so, he's got such heavy punches. But Mike's always been that way. He's always been. He, he came in and threw everything he had at, at people. That's why he knocked them out so quick, uh, you know, all that, for all them years. He'd come out in the first round and throw everything but the kitchen sink at him. tantrum thrown around by Jake. Some people who still see this match as Jake Paul milking the system for another payday are kicking against the fight. Among them is a current heavyweight boxer, Derek Chisora who has no interest in going to watch the fight in AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Giving the reason for his strange disinterest, Derek said that he knows for a fact that they're using 18-ounce gloves and head guards if he's not mistaken. And because of this, he says we'll all be watching a sparring match. Derek says this is a joke and there's no way he'll pay to watch that. Derek Chisora isn't the only one who shares that view. Some other professional fighters and sports fans around the world also do and are mad that Jake Paul is getting another payday to fight another retired boxer. Everyone who is pissed has dropped their two-cent opinion on the boxing match and how irritated they are at what Jake Paul is doing to boxing. Jake has understandably grown accustomed to these kinds of messages having boxed for a few years now. The switch from YouTube to boxing still doesn't feel authentic to fans all over the world. That's right. It's sponsored by the lure of massive paydays in boxing's yeah. biggest matches. Mike, Mike is going to knock him out. It just depends on when. Uh, I mean, if, if the fight goes long, goes deep into some late rounds, it might go to a, it could possibly go to a decision and, and and Mike could lose. But I don't I don't see it going I don't see it going past two rounds. 
I don't think that uh, Jake can dodge Mike's heavy Mike's heavy punches for more than two rounds. He's going to land some. He's going. Mike's going to land some bombs, and it don't take but that one bomb to knock your ass out when it's Mike Tyson. And Jake can say anything he wants about these people he's fought. He ain't he ain't faced nobody like Mike Tyson. Even at even at Mike Tyson's age, he ain't faced nobody like Mike Tyson yet. And all these people that he's boxed, none of them. Just like you said, when Mike when Mike if Mike when Mike gets in the ring, when that monster comes out. Shit, you, you better run. <laughs> you better turn and run. Because El elderly Mike is wise in, in his ways now. He's a really smart guy. He's, 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 he's actually humbled himself a lot. But the last fight that he did, he said he didn't want to do the fight. And that's why you know, it didn't look all that great. He wasn't into it, didn't want to mess with it. He said he wants to fight this fight. Mike said he wants to fight this fight. So that lets me know that, that he, he's got that hunger for it. And it just, just don't, it, that, that don't, that just don't look good for, for, uh, for Jake Paul. It don't look good for him at all. I'm telling you, dude, he, he's huge, man. And he's, dude, he's ripped. To be 57, 58 years old, he is ripped. Tyson's age and diminished resistance, it could mislead young fans. 
It might give the wrong impression to newcomers who've been introduced to boxing through YouTube. While these are legitimate concerns, it's still not enough to satisfy the thirst of fans who are crying for blood on that day. <laughs> Mike Tyson, on his part, is out to sniff for the scent of Jake Paul's blood on the ring. Tyson sent a warning message to Jake on the social media app named X, saying, You still want to mess with me? To which Jake responded to the tweet with, Yes, yes I do. Jake Paul is intent on going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the dangerous Mike Tyson, and he has shown no fear or respect for the famed punch power the iconic boxer has. While Jake maintains a front of fearlessness to the public, he's privately in awe that he's about to face off with the legendary Mike Tyson. He once confessed to this, saying, I can't believe it. It's surreal to me. I'm still trying to process and comprehend it. When we faced off for the first time, afterward, I started laughing. I stepped away and was like, bro, what the hell is going on? Tyson and Jacob faced off for their upcoming match. But fans aren't satisfied yet, as they need the bout to become more solidified. Everyone is asking for the date when the press conference will be held. There have been no more official comments as regards the press conference. Yeah, I know. But some I know. sources that it might happen in <coughs> next month. In a video where they were about to face off, Mike Tyson was seen telling Jake, sign the contract, sign the contract, to which Jake took a pen and made a signature on Mike Tyson's shirt, as that was where the contract was written for dramatic effect. Having seen Jake Paul's training videos, Mike Tyson acknowledged the growth Jake has made in boxing in the past few years. He highlighted that the match would be a clash between Jake's youthfulness and will versus his experience and skill. Mike Tyson feels responsible for the annoying rise of Jake Paul in the boxing community as Jake started his fight at Tyson's exhibition match some years ago. Now Tyson wants to put an end to what he started. The wait is over. FanDuel Sportsbook now live in North Carolina. FanDuel makes it so easy to get started. You can get paid instantly. That's like the whole point of winning. New customers spend $5 and get $200 of bonus bets guaranteed. Started and do what he should have done a long while ago. Tyson was quoted saying, It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. While Tyson has sinister plans for Jake oh, Paul, Jake, on the other hand, has acknowledged Mike Tyson's status as the greatest heavyweight of all time and the most vicious knockout artist ever. However, Jake highlighted his advantages as he stated that he was younger, faster, and committed to working long, tiring hours at the gym to become stronger. He said in his own words, he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious knockout artist ever, but I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to work tirelessly to get stronger. Jake Paul also revealed that one of his team members let him in on a video released by Mike Tyson's coach two weeks earlier, where the coach questioned Jake's interest in moving forward with the fight. This was a no-brainer for Jake. As uh, he gladly I don't have a way to have a plan, Ron. Right? ...to proceed with the fight in the heavyweight category. In Jake's words, a member of my team sent me this video that Mike's coach... There's absolutely nothing I can do, ...and asked Ron. me if I was sure nothing. that I wanted to do this. Yes... Yes, I do. Fighting Mike Tyson provides an insane shift in the kind of fights Jake is used to take in. Before now, Jake Paul fought journeymen and retired UFC fighters he could beat up, even stopping some of them via knockout. Though Mike Tyson is way old and out of form, this will be the first real boxer Jake would be taking on, and it's massive for this sports community. It's massive because fighters of this era avoid fighting the best. The best usually fight lower level fighters and avoid boxing. I'm leaving it in God's hand. I'll do whatever I can do. But I don't, you know, 
I don't have, you know, friends and family that I can, you know, have my, come pick up my camper and take it to their place that, you know, my mom rents her place and they can't, can't have a, a camper like this out there, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing I can do. Said that Jake fighting Tyson in his old age isn't something to be excited about. KS, I said, honestly, I just think it's sad. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose lose. Literally, he knocks out Mike Tyson and he's beaten white. An old age person. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yes, in his prime, this would have been crazy. But now it's like, this is just sad. Noting that a win over an iron mic Mike's not going to get embarrassed. Mike's going to knock Jake Paul slap out. KSI pointed out that Mike Tyson was dangerous in his prime. Not now. KSI isn't convinced that Tyson can pull up a last victory in the ring against the younger, virile Jake Paul. It isn't only KSI that has something to say about Jake Paul's match with Mike Tyson. Other boxing professionals and trainers are observing the match and have many things to say. Let's see what they said. The pro boxers pick their favorite in Paul versus Tyson fight. Many professional boxers of today idolized Mike Tyson while growing up. Same I don't need anything from Marley, man. Coming out of retirement and old age to fight the joke of the boxing community, Jake Paul creates mixed feelings within them. As a consolation, they're convinced that Mike Tyson isn't just going to fight Jake merely for the money, as Tyson has said he's going to finish Jake Paul and put an end to his craziness in the ring. It isn't only those who idolize Tyson that have something to say about this match. Even former opponents of Tyson in his Iron Mike days like Evander Holyfield are interested in the match. The father and trainer of the current WBC junior welterweight champion, Bill Haney, was asked who he wanted to win in the upcoming bout between Jake and Tyson. An outspoken and assertive Bill Haney couldn't hide his dissatisfaction with the gross unseriousness that Jake Paul's boxing showed. Bill Haney said, I don't see a boxing match. What I see is a guy trying so much to diversify. He wants to do so much. He wants music. He wants social media. And he wants boxing. He's a jack of all trades. And trust me, he's going to get nothing in the end. I'm surprised he dreams of being a world champion. You don't become a world champion by fighting past champions. You become a champion when you fight those in the present. And my son, Devin, is waiting for you. Bill Haney is eager to accept the hey, offers for his son, Devin Haney. His son is currently the junior welterweight champion and the former undisputed lightweight champion. In the past, he's accepted offers from boxers like Gervonta Davis and Adrian Bronner, and now he's throwing an open offer to Jake Paul. Devin's father couldn't wrap his head around why Jake would want to be the heavyweight champion, and yet fight only champions who are retired and past their prime. So Bill Haney made his pick on Mike Tyson. He said, I know it's a match that'll be streamed on Netflix, up, but it's no social media battle. It's a battle in the boxing ring, and you know who wins that. Tyson out of his prime would beat Paul. Tyson with one hand would beat Paul. Tyson Jesus loves Tyson you too. Would beat Paul. Tyson on the sick bed will beat Paul, and Tyson at 90 will beat Paul. The current Mike Tyson will beat Paul. Paul can only beat a lifeless Tyson. Bill Haney surely bared his innermost thoughts on the match without filters. Francis Ngannou, a former UFC heavyweight champion who has transitioned into professional boxing, has something to say about the upcoming match of his childhood idol, Mike Tyson. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Alex. I hear you, Brandon.
Thank you. Uh, so steady shoot. To... We're together. I'm named after this guy. It makes him more of a legend. Yes, yes. This man <laughs> is a bona fide living alive legend. World Boxing Council heavyweight champion Tyson Fury has sent a strong and special message ahead of his fight with Jake Paul on July 20th. Soon after, I came down with mental health struggle. So no one is ever, ever, ever safe from mental health. The Gypsy King Hello. did not only reveal his picks for the bout, he no, was not in dropping some words for the baddest man on the planet, who he's widely known to be named after. I keep hearing talk of people saying that I should retire or I'm going to retire soon or whatever. I ain't retiring anywhere. Wet your appetite with. I ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> his words came after his revelation to keep on fighting Hello. and were both straightforward and thoughtful, coming after some controversial statements some weeks back. Let's get right in. The upcoming bout hello, between hello, Mike hello. Tyson and Jake Paul has attracted several Favorite comments and messages from numerous steak. professionals in the sport. On March 7th, the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul was announced to the boxing world, receiving a wide range of opinions yeah, and views hey, from professionals like kit. Joe Egan, Roy Jones Jr., Joe Rogan, Anthony Joshua, Francis and Dana White. Stadium, um, it'd be fantastic for the guys. Both getting paid, both on a partner show. I just, I just don't know what's not to like. Oh, okay, the guy's 57 years old, but former <laughs> world heavyweight king. The one guy plays computers for a living. What is Plenty my favorite color? Fans, uh, red. fighters, and members of the media have shared their thoughts on the upcoming contest with many expressing their concerns. This is because Tyson will be 58 years of age on fight night and more than 30 years older than Paul. The YouTuber is in prime physical condition and has won nine of his ten professional fights. Tyson, on the other hand, Last fought in any capacity in 2020 against Roy Jones Jr. in an exhibition match. Many other topics and talking points have been raised by these professionals, and the latest of them to discuss this is Tyson. Fury, just sitting here talking, uh, talking to folks a little bit, Tyson. watching, uh, watching some it's stuff no about Tyson and, uh, and Jake Paul. Champion has inspired the reigning <clears throat> World Boxing Council champion Tyson Fury to become the champion he is today. <laughs> Don't buy another pair of glasses until you've seen what this new invention can do. These self-adjustable glasses are taken know, Brandy, by storm. They let you achieve a perfect 2020 vision at any distance, which means you won't have to visit your eye doctor ever again. They were created by an optician who dedicated his life to providing a solution for myopia, hyper, and astigmatism. The story of John... <laughs> That is what it is, AWC. The baddest man on the planet had a big impact on Tyson Fury's life, and it's become a casual fact. Mike Tyson is going to win. Fans, and even the less passionate ones that Tyson Fury's father, John Fury, named the Gypsy King after the boxing legend. Until date, Tyson Fury has great respect for Iron Mike Tyson and takes inspiration from him as well. To portray how impressive the relationship between the pair is, Fury had once responded to an X post asking who would win between himself and Tyson, who Fury is named after, and he kept it classy. Like Mike Tyson already said, it doesn't matter who you think wins as I'm named yeah, after. Mike him. Tyson will so win. He'll win. Uh, he's gonna, he, he's gonna knock him a slap baby out. Named after the champ, the baby becomes the champ. Wow! And this is not the first time Fury has spoken in admiration of Tyson. As he previously told the Ring magazine, a lot All of it's going to take is him landing just one of those well. punches. Yes, one of them, and it's going to knock him coming. slap out. It wasn't like the one punch. Ah, what single slow punch. It was <coughs> coming, and it was coming All he's got to do is land side one side of those heavy punches Mike, from Mike Tyson, and it is going to knock him slap and out. Knock a man out with either hand, as we have seen. Sort of. We brought up the only thing we want to do is fight, which is uh, why I've become a boxer. Yeah. Uh, you were named after Mike. Named after Mike, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 
<laughs> Mike said shit happens. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, somebody said it was the 20, 24th or something like that of July. It's the 20 something of July. A lot of people going into the boxing ring were already beaten by Mike Tyson. And the baddest man on the planet has in similar fashion returned the compliment in the past. Well, that's cool, Saying Oscar. in an interview, Tyson Fury proved over and over again that he's the best. Tyson Fury is the champ, the reigning champ, and is going to be the champ for a long time, if he chooses to be, unless we get some new guy up. On another occasion, the Gypsy King uploaded of a screenshot of him and his son enjoying a video chat with the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history with the caption... Gypsy Prince loves Uncle Mike Tyson. And while the normal Uncle trend Mike. is for legends to have special messages and words of advice for their protégés and other boxers of this generation oh, who look up to them, it's taken a different twist this time, as a protégé is the one with the message for his idol this time. It was you. Yeah. So when I was born August the 12th, 1988, I came into the world and I was eight weeks premature and I was, I was dying. I wasn't supposed to live. And when I lived... Uh, me dad, so I'm gonna call you after my favorite heavyweight. Uh, <laughs> Tyson. <laughs> Tyson Fury disclosed this in an interview where he was asked about the upcoming bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. But before this interview, he had also talked about the matchup in a previous interview, which he came under fire for. Earlier, when Fury was asked about his thoughts on the fight between Mike Tyson expressed his support for the spectacle, acknowledging the significance of having a boxing legend like Tyson face off against a YouTube sensation like Paul. Fury remarked, you've got a legend in Mike Tyson. You've yeah, he's going to gonna knock him slap he's out. He's come into the game and blew it up, and he's got millions of followers and millions of views and millions of eyes. Good, bad, or indifferent. Some people love him, some people hate him. So I think it's a really good spectacle for boxing. Brings a lot of people to the game. Okay, Dave, welcome to the show. Mm. Look, the going to make what I call the shit ton of money out of it. So, isn't that what it's about? You're right. Uh, However, in his latest interview, Vin, Tyson Vincenzo, Fury, uh, and more to say and explain Mike is going to Mike's going to destroy interview. him. <laughs> he said, I know many people have said things about me since I said the fight was good for the sports. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that stupid. Just a YouTube channel. <laughs> speech and I just use mine. <coughs> not I that stupid, my friend. Not that stupid. The matchup, the financial benefits. I said it's a good spectacle. Yes, it Mike's is. got it's Mike's got, got those heavy hands. He's still got that power, those body shots. Is everyone is is gonna to is gonna hurt Jake really, really bad. And every time Mike lands a head punch, if it don't knock him out, it, it's gonna it's gonna daze him. Every single time, if it don't knock him slap out the first, you know, one or two. <laughs> no, I'm 47. Mike's going to be 58 uh, when fight night comes. Then moved on to make his pick ahead of the match, an exercise he wasn't chance to undertake in his earlier interview. Hey, Jimma, Jimma. Responded, I feel both fighters have great chances. Mike Tyson mm. has the speed, the power, the experience, the aura, and all. Jake Paul has youthfulness. And I think that's a huge thing to have. They both stand great chances. But you know who I'd pick, definitely. I think Tyson would win. It's a win for Tyson. I'm not sure Jake Paul is the boxer to beat him. It would have been a tough choice if it was a more experienced and true boxer. But Jake Paul is no match for Tyson, even when Tyson is 80. I wouldn't try to fight Mike Tyson. I would shit. I would turn and run. <laughs> I ain't stupid. <coughs> I ain't wanting to die in a in a boxing match. <coughs> I would turn and run. <laughs> it was after this that he delivered the special message to Tyson. The message was I don't know if, if, if there was enough money involved, I'd let him hit me once, and then you know, hope hopefully I didn't die. <laughs> I'd just get the money and just let him hit me once, and knock me out. <laughs> but you know, you're taking a chance. Mike Tyson hits you in the head. <laughs> you're taking a chance of not getting up. Mike should hey, Rice Kingdom. In the ring, even better than Tommy did. It must be remembered that the Gypsy King and his family members had once had an intense face off. Yeah, right. <laughs> shortly before his younger brother, Tommy Fury, fought and defeated the problem child. It all started when their bout was initially fixed for a date that was later canceled. Ahead of the clash, a press conference.
If you're thinking of selling your right. house soon, you don't want to miss out on this. Not only will I buy your house fast, I can also pay your next month's rent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if it was a you know if it was a decent payday, I'd let him hit me one time, and I'd be, I'd, I'd be like, you know, if it didn't if it didn't kill me, I'd I'd, I'd just lay there like I you know I'd, I'd be you know laid out. <laughs> Juliana, or Juliana, Juliana. I don't know how to say your name. Sorry. John hit back with taunts that he beat the hell out of him if he ever went to America. Perhaps the biggest moment came when Father John Fury told Jake Paul to take off his sunglasses in order to see the fear in the eyes of the influencer. When Paul refused and told Tommy to shut your bitches up for me, John stood up and looked as though he was going to punch the television that Paul was speaking through. But that was not the only fiery moment that occurred between John Fury and Jake Paul during this entertaining and bizarre press Hello. conference. Later on, Fury made a prediction that his son would knock out the YouTuber and then fornicate with his lady. Uh, where am I from? You know, South Carolina. Tommy knocks you out, don't you? He's going to bend your girlfriend over and do her like a dog in front of you. So I'm telling you straight up, Fury said. I have no idea. Growing only mature adult here. I don't know. I have no clue. Things got somehow more intense towards the end as John Fury once again tried to get Paul to remove his sunglasses. But again, Paul was having none of it. In return, he offered something for Fury to do. Instead. Hear what in my voice? I can see the fear in your eyes because you won't take their glasses off. And that's some first-class nonsense. How he won't remove his eyewear. Get the glasses off, you idiot, John Fury said. Slob on my knob. Slob on my knob real good, sir. Paul responded, you ain't got a knob to snob, you've got a fanny between your legs. <laughs> the wild exchanges between John Fury and Jake Paul during this press conference uh, yeah. left some saying that this was the real fight to make. That is a fight between John Fury and Jake Paul, a fight that will surely never see the light of the day. Another altercation occurred when Jake Paul was ringside for rival Tommy Fury's exhibition with late replacement Raleigh Lambert in Dubai. The YouTube star Paul was unimpressed with Fury's... Uh, I don't have one favorite memory in my whole life. My, my favorite memories in my life are when my, all my children were born. ...became incensed with Paul's comments and joined his son in demanding the YouTuber climb into the ring before ripping his shirt off and attempting to duck under the ropes. Uh, yeah, Gloria. There's your shout-out. Hey, Gloria. Happy, bur happy birthday, Olga. The confrontation fizzled out with security, able to step in to defuse the threatening situation. At that point, yeah. talks and disagreements were ongoing as regards the bout between Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. Mm -hmm. After returning I'm about to get over here. I'm getting Fury tired. I mean, uh, no I got to bring a fight for 2023. I got to get up in the morning and figure something out. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but I got to figure something out in the morning. To say, hasn't he? Uh, like I say, men meet before mountains, Fury said. When discussing the altercation, he had his chance to showcase hey, the Carl Miller. and he How let himself you? down miserably. I've been better, but, you know, he wouldn't even get but I ring. fight Jake Paul He's for the right amount of money, yeah. Backwards. He just doesn't want to fight Tommy. I had a spare roll of toilet paper on me for him. It was in my bag. I popped well, it in you, in case hope. Jake Paul needs it. At one point, I was going to get it out and throw it at him. Yeah, good night, guys. Love you guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful I night. I have seen what he's um, like up close and personal. I'll be back on TikTok in the morning as soon as my suspension's up. I'll be back on it. How much am I short? Uh, I've got four hundred. I've got four fifty now, and I've got to have eight, eight like eight sixty five total for everything. So still a good bit short, but I got. I want to get up in the morning and just figure something out. I don't know what, but uh, I'll figure something out. Oh, uh, but yeah, y'all have a beautiful, wonderful night. Love you guys, and uh, I'm out.